this PC was abandoned for almost 4 or 5 years. A cousin of a friend started building this computer, but he got a job offer and he had to move to another place. But after he returns, he wanna finish this PC that he started. The time has passed and the tech has changed. And he asked me, can I finish this computer build? He already had a laptop with a great specs, but he feels sorry to leave this computer unfinished. This computer has a few components, like a nice PC case, motherboard, power supply and CPU. But here is missing cooling fun, SSD, graphic card, RAM and maybe a few more things. Some things I already have in my stash. I have CPU cooling fun and M2 SSD. The cooling fun is Cooler Master and the last time I've got a few of these because I found it on sale for very cheap. And the M2 disk I got it as a gift after doing some laptop upgrades. Now I need a GPU and RAM. I need a little bit time until I found the boat. I found a person that sell used stuff, some working, some non-working and between all I found this IMD RX 580 with 8 gigs of video memory and 16 gigs of RAM. But this graphic card has a problem, the boat cooling fans are not working. The guy from whom I got his GPU has told me that he tried to repair the cooling fans, but he didn't make it. And on top of that, he tore some cables from the GPU and he damaged the heatsink a little bit. I got the GPU for 15 euros and for the RAM I paid 25. Also I have to find a cooling fans for the GPU. I need a little bit more time, but I found this nice pair for 9 euros. Now, when I have everything that I need, I move to disassemble the whole computer. The computer was out of use for about 4 or maybe 5 years, and through time has collected some dust and dirt. Shaken but not stirred Just a lesson that I've learned And so it goes Tables turn Well, and I'm done with disassembly. But now I move to cleaning the computer and first I start with the motherboard. The motherboard, I mean the CPU has some leftovers from a thermal paste that was probably left from when this computer was built and tested. And around is a very little dust. The motherboard is technically new, I mean never used to run operating system, play games or anything similar, just turned on once or twice, and that's all. 
Here I cross over in-depth cleaning, removing all the dust and cleaning all the ports and connections. This is just an in-depth refresh to the motherboard. After I finished cleaning the motherboard, now the things were a little different. The motherboard had returned the shine as it was new. On camera maybe this is not much noticeable, but in person everything is different. Now I took one SSD. Because these SSDs are shorter than the standard ones, I had to move the screw closer to the M2 port. This machine will be better if I go with a better SSD with a larger capacity. But here I'm trying to reduce the cost to the minimum as possible. 256 gigs SSD is going to be enough for Windows, some basic softwares and maybe to play some games. Now I move to the cooling fan and here we have Cooler Master 212 Black Edition with Silicio fan. Last time I got a couple of these, and this is a very good cooling fan. I only regret that I didn't get more of these. There were plenty available, but I got a couple of these, and this is the last one in my stash. I don't remember how much I paid for, but it was super cheap, because all of these cooling fans were already unpacked, unsealed, and displayed on shelves. Some of these cooling fans were used, and some with the minor scratches, or broken plastic, like this one. But this is not a problem at all, and this won't affect anything. Actually, this type of products cannot be sold as new and at regular price. Also, I had to clean this cooling fan, because it has a little dust, some fingerprints and some leftovers around. And fortunately, no parts are missing in the package. Sometimes when you buy some stuff like this, it may come with some missing parts. After cleaning the cooling fan, it's time to mount it. This cooling fan is super easy to mount, even with zero experience you can easily figure out what and where needs to be. And here, a thermal paste I will use, Thermal Grizzly. Maybe this is too much for this computer, because this is a very quality and high performance thermal paste. Usually, I use this thermal paste for high-end laptops, desktop graphic cards and powerful CPUs. At the end, I cleaned the ROM a little bit and I placed it on the motherboard. Here, 
I have to move the cooling fan a little bit higher because the top of the RAM has RGB LEDs and it's a little bit higher with dimensions. 16 gigs of RAM is not much, but it's going to be just fine for this computer build. Actually, there's no reason or point of using anything more than that. It's gonna be just a waste of money and nothing else. After I finished with the motherboard, I moved to clean the computer case. The case has a very little dust around, so I don't have to do anything special. And to clean the PC case, I began with a vacuum cleaner and brushes. And then I continued with anti-static glass cleaner and soft napkins. Actually, I recleaned the case a couple of times until I got the desired result. After I finished with the case, I moved to clean the other two cooling fans from the case and the power supply, and the both I clean it in a similar way as the PC case. Now it's coming the most interesting part, the graphic card. Here I start with a full teardown. Also I found that two screws are missing at the front side, which I didn't notice before, but this is not a problem, I will find something later that will fit perfectly. After I separate all the parts, I move to cleaning, 
and I start by removing the thermal paste from the GPU chip. I also noticed that the graphic card was slightly overheated before, but fortunately it all was on the border of normal temperatures. And the thermal paste here is a pretty liquid, which is probably some cheap and low performance thermal paste, which is not really recommended to be used here. Now I move to clean the graphic card from dust and dirt. Two cables from the MSI logo are torn, but later the third red cable fell off. First, I clean this part from dust and dirt, and then I move to do the repairs. Unfortunately, I don't have tools for these small connectors, but I'm going to fix this in another way. I'm going to expose the wires a little bit more, then fold the wires and place it under the metal pin connectors and in the end I will seal the wires using glue. Now everything is going to be in place and I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this will work later. After I finish fixing the MSI logo, I move to clean the other parts of the graphic card. The plastic from the graphic card and the heatsink I place it in a plastic container and I apply degracer. Degracer will remove all the dirt and oils from the parts and I add a warm water. After about 25 to 30 minutes we can clearly see how much dirt was on the plastics and on the heatsink. This is due to dust and dirt and smoke from cigarettes or cigars. After this basic washing, I rewash all the parts using dish soap and warm water. I have done one more final cleaning. And finally, the plastics and the other parts look almost like a new ones. Now I move to assemble the graphic art. After I replace the metal plate, which has cooling rubbers or cooling pads, I used a hair dryer to soften the pads and stick the pads back to place. Before, I clean the pads using 96% hydropropyl alcohol, and the rubber is already fresh and soft. Also, I'm doing this because to avoid any air pockets or air bubbles that may appear later while using the GPU. Now, when everything is well sticked and in place that needs to be, I move to apply thermal paste and assemble the whole graphic card.
And this is how the graphic card is looking after some cleaning and with the new cooling fans. Now it's time to build this computer. While building this computer, I found a few new screws for the power supply. I changed the position of the cooling fans on the case and I've done some basic cable management. It's not great, but it's going to be okay. And I'm done with assembling this computer. Now is the moment of truth. I start this computer and everything seems ok. And the MSI logo is working and glowing as it needs to be. I always watch on these small details, because without details the stuff looks incomplete to me. Now I move to installing Windows, Windows drivers, softwares and further testing. And finally, this computer is complete and ready for use. And a few words about this computer. The current specs of this computer are Intel i5 8500s, 16GB of RAM, RX 580 with 8GB of memory 
and 256GB M2 SSD. Isn't much, but in general, this computer is going to be great for the purpose that I've been asked to do. It's going to be great to be connected on a TV, great for watching movies, series, videos, listening to music, browsing the web, and playing some games. I had enough space to fit one larger game here. I download Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which is one of my favorites. The graphic settings are very hike to hike. I mean mix settings. And under these settings the frame rate is above 40 and 50. Also, I wanna say that this is a great adventure game. It's a very long game to play, with a very beautiful story, especially with expansion packs. With expansion packs is a super long game to play, with a beautiful maps, beautiful graphics and details, and very beautiful music. I must say that I really miss the time when the game development was different, when the developers and the game creators cared for any single detail, I mean to the graphics, story, music and everything else. So hats off to the developers and other creators who make something remarkable. Well, and this is all about this computer, and I'm very glad because this machine, after 4 or 5 years, is finally in function, finally finished and fully working. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope this video will give ideas and inspiration to back some stuff in function again, or make some stuff better. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.